Shooting outside a River North bar and restaurant over the weekend prompts police to shut down the establishment. As WGN's Andrea Medina explains, surveillance cameras caught the shooting, which left eight people injured. A day after a gunfight unfolded outside Bloom Restaurant and Bar in River North and left eight people injured, their doors have been closed down. I feel a relief. I feel like, you know, it's great that this happened. In a letter to residents, the 42nd Ward Alderman expressed the bar has been linked to prior shootings and he has attempted to get the place shut down. Chicago police ordered the closing of Bloom on Monday, determining the establishment presents a danger to the public. I feel bad that this had to happen for them to shut their, you know, that this had to happen to a lot of victims like me. I'm one of them for them to shut their door, get their doors shut, shut down. Juanita Perez was at Bloom Friday night going into Saturday morning, celebrating her sister-in-law's birthday. She says it was almost two in the morning when she and her friend group of five other women decided to leave the bar. We were approached by a carload of women and men. It was a Altima Nissan, I believe that were beeping at us to catch our attention. That's when Perez says their fun night out became violent. The girl from the passenger side got out of the vehicle, stroke, uh, st uh, hit my, my one of our family friends. And then while she was doing that, another girl from the passenger side from the back of her car came and hit me in my eye. And when that happened, another man got out and socked me right on my left my left eye. Perez says it was a frightening and traumatic experience that also left them with extensive injuries. I have a I have, I'm I have a broken ankle on my right um and I have a lot of you see in my face was is bruising and swelling um on both sides, my nose. Um uh my sister-in-law's nose is also broken. Um you know, we ha all everybody that was with us bruises to make matters worse, she says Bloom staff was around but didn't intervene. This occurred right in front of secure Bloom security the, from the club that didn't do absolutely nothing to help us. Nothing. There was five security guards sitting there watching us get beat. After learning about Sunday's brazen shooting, Perez is comforted Bloom is being held accountable for the supposed crime they draw in. Now she wants those involved in her incident and other violent crimes to be behind bars. They need to be caught and prosecuted. You know, they need to learn that you can't do this. You don't do this to just random innocent people. We have reached out to the operators of the bar and restaurants for comments, but we haven't heard back from them. The shooting remains under investigation, and at this time, no one is in custody. Reporting in River North, Andrea Medina, WGN News.